However, this is my element. Come on, give me that speed! Coming around, buddy. Hold on! Hold on! Oh, it's... Oh! 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 No! Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Oh! Well, I died once so far. Oh, that's all? Hello and welcome to my VR racing rig. I'm just trying to get it set up here uh, to record a few videos every now and then. I've got the mic set up. I think that's actually going to work out. I'm going to be doing this all in VR. I have a little bit of an Oculus Rift here. And we're going to be racing the Lotus Type 49 today on Historic Monza. Nine turns and 6.21 miles of Historic Chaos. Alright, so we've strapped ourselves in this death machine. Here we go. Nothing but wheel spin. Come on. Say hello to the pits. Try to get one more spot. We only got four laps. Don't mind me. Just cutting the corner. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is so bumpy. Sketchy. You might be able to see the suspension in the bottom right. I can't really look at it. I gotta focus on what I'm doing, but you should be seeing that this thing is bouncing all over the place. Now, we're gonna have the advantage when it comes to straightaways. Whoa! Hey, easy there, computer! Whoa! Stop it! Whoa! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Oh, this guy with your big wing, you're so slow! Woo! We're going now! What am I doing, 186? Split him! Oh, yeah! Okay, that was... <laughs> They're gonna catch me on the back side. Uh, no, no, no. Let me rephrase that. They're gonna catch me in the corners here. <laughs> because they have, I mean, they're so many years newer than me. Plus, they have wings, and I don't. I. I'm just worried about them running into me more than anything else. All right, if I'm brave, I can do this one. Oh, ha 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 ha! Yeah, just like that. Come on, buddy. In case you're wondering, I'm using a Logitech G920. Pretty simple setup here, and an Oculus Rift. Oh, that guy! How did you hold on to that? Holy moly! <laughs> um, to give you an idea here, I am sitting in a lawn chair. Oh, God, God. <laughs> and the plywood I've measured from my Honda Civic to get the measurements correct. Pretty simple setup. Um, and as far as VR racing and stuff goes, a fairly affordable solution. All the way back down to first here. Again, gotta be careful not to stall it. Not worried about these guys too much. You saw how quick I was last time. Ah, shifted at nine. Mmm. The thing that you want to get when it comes to VR racing. The manual shifter. This wheel didn't come with it. It was a additional add-on, but makes a world of difference. Highly recommend it. If I could get an e-brake, that would be awesome. Not that I would use it here, but... Okay, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. I got lucky last time. This car is moving all over the place, especially when you catch a lot of draft going through here. Can easily step out on you. I wasn't even flat through there. Oh! Millimeters again! Ha 
Uh, in case you're wondering, this is as fun as it looks. Um, and VR makes a world of difference. World of difference. The perspective of it changes everything. The only thing I would do differently if I were to get it now is I would step up uh, the resolution for the headset. Shouldn't be hard to do. There's a lot better options for VR headsets these days. Uh, see Apex. Missed that one. I love these old cars. Or just about any of these cars where you kind of have to be a wheelman to drive, you know? Where your throttle just is going to shift that weight onto your front wheels and not. So if you, if you stay off it... What kind of corner was that, dude? <laughs> Anyhow... <laughs> Computers are interesting today. I guess what I was saying there, if I was on, on the throttle through that corner, I would understeer like crazy. So you can kind of play with the brake and really get it to do all sorts of different things throughout the corner. I also like cars with like a lot of boost and a decent amount of suspension travel. The rally cars are a lot of fun. The Trans Am cars are also tons of fun. Probably my favorite car. That's so fun to do. Not even sure if it's necessary, but I'm doing it anyhow. <laughs> Alright, we're on lap three of four. So we just passed the halfway point. Where's the names of people? Oh, I don't see them anywhere. Ooh, that's not good. They're kind of got away from me. I might have been talking too much. Do I have my lamp? Potential. And I did a 239. I could probably do faster than that, for sure. Careful. Right there it gets real bumpy. Right at that spot. This is force feedback on the wheel. And I actually have a custom profile that I use for this game, Project Cars 2. And that can really make a big difference. That can make a big difference <laughs> for the Logitech G920 or whichever one you're using. But I definitely do set the force feedback to 100% so I can feel it. Get in there near the curb. Stay off the gas. Don't, not all the way on that one, but... And then we shift it near 9,000. Try to make the engine explode. It's hard to know if I'm doing sectors better or not in this race because I just change it so much with the draft. <laughs> we understeer through that corner, but that's about still the fastest way to go through it. Almost no lift. No, no. Careful not to put too much brakes in. Not too hard with these old cars, but can lock up the front and then you're gonna have a fun time. Mm. It's a little conservative there, but hey! Alright, alright, fair enough, I did that once. I love the old F1 cars. Gosh, they got like the big wheels in the back. I don't know, there's something proportionally cool about them. Especially the big old turbos and, mm. I don't know, they're just kind of a cool era. There is a 
uh, the Lotus Turbo. Uh, I don't know the exact name of it. I think the one with all the ground effect. You can drive that. I think it has 1,300 horsepower or something ridiculous. You can even play with the boost to make it even more ridiculous. Oh, and that's what's fun about the old cars too, the turbo lag. You know, it's like no power, no power, and then suddenly the, like the back end of the car explodes. Alright, let's see if I can finally do this corner good. Use all of it. That's probably on the gas a little bit too much on that second corner, but I feel like that was faster. It's gonna come right down to the line, isn't it? Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh! Think I got him. Think I got him. Always oh, coming. Ah, he didn't get me. <laughs> he won, baby. So this has been Project Cars 2, and in case you're curious, yes, it's available on Humble Bundle for a very affordable price. Not only that, you'll get a lot of other great racing games as well, while supporting a great charity such as Direct Relief. Now, Direct Relief is helping out a lot of our medical staff right now that are keeping them safe during the thing I can't even say on YouTube. You can see right here, Direct Relief is coordinating with the public health authorities and nonprofit organizations to help supply uh, a lot of protector of gear to our medical staff here. 30,000 pounds of protective gear, 800,000 N95 masks, 400,000 gloves, and all of that good stuff here to the frontline health workers. And while this is absolutely amazing, they do even more than that. You can check them out in the link in the description below as well with the Humble Bundle. And if you use my link down there, you can also help support my channel as well. If you're looking for more content like this, I have a second channel, Digital Downshift, where I've got two more videos coming out just like the one you saw here. And I figured, you know what? I like to race. These videos aren't too hard to make, so I'm going to upload some more about it. It's fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Mrothgar, out.